Hey everybody, it's your boy Alan Wade. Thank you so much for joining me today. You guys really are amazing. If it's your first time here, please hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget, hit that thumbs up button right now before we even get started. Guys, uh, so today we're gonna be embroidering the It's a Boy design. I made this design because I felt I needed to like lighten up the mood on the website. I was doing a lot of like unorthodox designs and I'm gonna keep on doing those designs too but I just wanted to make something that appealed more to people that you know traditionally dealt with embroidery machines so we're gonna do a few of those and then we're going to get back into the stuff that I want to put on there then why I started doing this in the first place and guys don't forget tomorrow just mind you tomorrow I'm going to do some silhouette cameo 4 so stay tuned for that but without further ado let's jump into this design let's do it so check it out, check it out, check it out. It's the Brother SE600. And when you see me with the Brother SE600, you know exactly what time it is. It's time to make something awesome, guys. It's time to make something dope. So we are going to navigate to our embroidery files folder like we always do. Guys, this um, design is available right now as we speak. www.allenaway.com Go ahead to the website. Buy yourself some channel merch, help support the channel, but most importantly, while we're doing this, go ahead and purchase this design so you can stitch along with this video, guys. Just go ahead and we're going to pick our design right here, and this design is also available in an applique version, but right now we're going to be doing the embroidery version. It's just a real big patch. You can sew this onto shirts. You can sew this, show this uh, make a patch and sew it on. Or you can just embroider it straight onto garments, like I said, okay? Shirts, garments, whatever, whatever you want to embroider on. Sweatsuits, whatever. But traditionally, I guess, um, because of what type of design it is, I guess you're going to be embroidering this on, like, maybe a baby shirt or, like, a onesie or, like, something like that. Because, congratulations. It's a boy, you know? So, get this all feed it fed through and pull this through for some reason this light blue thread has been getting tangled up so I gotta like manually kind of like pull it through here because it hasn't been like looping correctly so I'm just like trying to feed it pull it through right here all right so I'm gonna pull a little bit of extra through to get rid of that tangle because I don't want any of that to be part of my design put that down cut off the extra and guys we are ready to embroider already all right so as you can see by the screen on the se 600 this is a fairly long design 29 minutes that's because we're doing our tactical horizontal stitch we're going this way with the stitch then we're going that way with the stitch so the background is nice and thick all right and you can't see through it so right now you see the first layer is going to take 17 minutes then the next layer 14 minutes then one and one all right, so let's go ahead and get this started. Of course, I'm not going to show the, the whole thing because it's just too long. But, guys, if you haven't purchased your brother SE600, good news. Um, it's back in the Amazon store. I don't know how much supply that they have, but use my Amazon link down in the description below to purchase your brother SE600 today. They are back in the Amazon store. I might even buy an extra one because I need to send it off to the island so that when we can fly again and it's time to go to Dominica, we can go to Dominica and I'll be embroidering in the nature isle of the Caribbean. So I might grab one of those. So uh, make sure you get yours while supplies last. Like I said, they are back in the Amazon store. And if by the time, for any chance, for any reason, you go over there and they don't have any, then you can pick up the PE-800 and you can also do this file with the PE-800 also, guys. So you see the SD-600 stitching out the first back layer. Actually, it's not stitching out a back stitch. It's stitching out the first layer of um, material, to be, of thread, embroidery thread to be used in this design. And it's just going to create the whole truck. And after it does this pattern stitch right here, it's going to do another pattern stitch with the whole design going the um, opposite way, I guess. Uh, and yeah, like I said, use my Amazon link down below to purchase your uh, embroidery file today. This design on my website, I think this design is a dollar and fifty cent. I have a whole bunch of designs that are one dollar on the site, so 
If you've never visited the site yet, go check out the site, alanaway.com. You can check it out on your phone. You can check it out on your computer. And you can purchase all any of these files or any channel merch from the website. And if you, get, if you purchase a file, then you'll get a download link right after you purchase it. You can put it on your flash drive, just like I have this on my flash drive. If you guys can see the flash drive over there, there it is right there. And you can stitch along with this design or any of the designs that you purchase because all the designs have stitch along videos to them. Alright, so I'm going to let this stitch out a little bit and I'll be right back. So my analytics says on average there's about 90% of you that watch the videos that are not subscribed to the channel. So if you could please subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up button, I greatly appreciate it. Thanks guys. We're halfway through the first part of the design right here. It's uh, For some reason it always does this, if, especially if it's a bigger design. It starts one side then it goes over to the other side and it just goes, comes from the other side and attaches right here. So that's what your design is going to do. So just follow along, keep on letting it stitch. It doesn't stop, it goes straight, straight to the other part and stitch this direction. So just let it keep stitching out guys. I just want you to see this part, guys, where it goes from one side to the other. See, now that it's totally stitched out that side, that part of the design, rather, you see it's going to start stitching out in the other direction. And that, I just want to touch that, that is so that it, like, completely covers up and you can't see through it. Alright? And I have stitched this out before, so it's not something that's brand new. I stitched this out before, guilty. A lot of times when I first got started uh, making these videos, guys, I would just make a design and I would just press record on the camera and start just um, seeing if it would come out good. And most of the time it did come out good, but sometimes it didn't. But at the stage that I'm at right now, I pretty much know if a design is going to come out good right away um, after I've digitized it. And this is one of them that I knew was going to come out good because of the size of the text and because of you know how much I've been digitizing in and my skill level and for those of you guys who want to know I know there are some people gonna ask I use brother PE design 10 this design was uh, digitized in brother PE design 10 and I also use brother PE design next all right um, which one do I like better I'm gonna say I like brother PE design 10 better because it seems to me that it has some functionality that, that brother PE design next does not have all right i'm not sure which one is the newer one um but i think pe design next might be the new one but i don't know it seems like brother pe design uh 10 has more functionality to me but correct me if i'm wrong um, down in the comments below all right so i'm just gonna let this continue to stitch out and once again i'll be right back guys a dub production halfway through the design guys you can see the difference of one side versus the other side. This side looks very good, very silky, very smooth. You just want to touch it <laughs> like I just did. But guys, um, I did a video earlier today. It was a vlog and I posted it on my other channel. That's youtube.com backslash Alan Wade. So those of you guys who want to see that vlog, go ahead over there and check it out when you get a moment after you're done with this video. Um, I got some tints on the Jeep. I got the Jeep's windows tinted. And uh, I made a video about how the tent place kind of messed up the tent. So, yeah, had a little bit of issues with that. So go head on over to Alan, Alan Wade, YouTube.com backslash Alan Wade. Subscribe to that channel. That's going to be my vlog channel where I post uh, my vlogs from now on. So, uh, matter of fact, let me play a little clip for you guys. And, and nah, eh. I'll just run a little picture, show you guys a little picture of the Jeep. Yeah, that's it. And then, um, yeah. Hey guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please take this moment to hit the subscribe button and also hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a new video. It helps me out a whole lot more than you know it. Thank you. All right, so this part of design is done. And the next part, which is the border, is gonna take about four minutes, it says right here on the screen. And I'm going to just go ahead and press the go button because I'm going to use the same color to do the uh, outline stitch. So let me just go ahead and press it so it can st get started and you guys will see what the machine does. 
it. See how it's starting to make the outline like that? Yeah, that's what it's going to do. So, if you're, because this video is for follow along purposes for people who bought this on my, uh, on my website, like I said, every single design on my site has a video to go along with it to show you how to stitch it out just like this one, and this is the purpose for these videos. So guys, um, this is a follow along video, so I'll be right back, just let yours stitch along. If you're just watching it for fun, then that's fine too, just let yours stitch along. So you guys see how great that looks, I mean look at the quality, look how silky smooth that is right there. Oh yeah, AlanAway.com, buy yourself this design and some other channel merch, help support the channel, guys. Yes, look at that, looks good. Let's change colors. The good thing about this design, guys, and any of the designs, is you can make them any color that you want to. You are not limited to the colors that I tell you to use on the design thing on the screen. You can make it anything. So this does not have to be a light blue, but light blue for boys, you know. So I'm going to make this trumpet looking thing uh, like uh, this light yellow, I'm going to call it. I'm going to call it light bright yellow. So I'm going to put this on here and thread up our machine. I have a video showing exactly how to thread this machine, but you guys should know how to do it by now. For those of you guys who have a SE600. So, oh yeah, by the way, I, also, I know I mentioned it before, but I'm going to mention it again for people who tune in in the middle of the video. Um, the SE600 is back in the Amazon store, so if you haven't picked one up yet, use my Amazon link down in the description below to purchase your brother SE600 sewing and embroidery machine today. And if by the time you go to Amazon it doesn't have one, there's no more left, they're sold out, pick up a PE800. It's an embroidery machine only. Has a bigger hoop, has a 5x7 hoop, but you'll be able to use these designs on your PE 800. Alright? This part is going to be real swift. It's just stitching out the horn. So it says, Congratulations, it's a boy. And I put a little horn at the top. So to make it look like, like more of like an announcement type of thing or like a college type of bullhorn type of thing. So yeah, I thought that was, that was cool. So now I'm going to change threads again. This time we're going to put in a darker, ooh, should not be pulling that out. Make sure you always raise that up while you're pulling it out. I've raised it up and for some reason I put it back down. And use your spool savers product links in the description down below if you want to buy spool savers or anything that I'm using in this video to do this design. All the product links will be down in the description below, guys. And don't forget, guys, share the videos. Like anybody who you think that uh, might be interested in this stuff. Or share the videos. Share the videos. Um, you can copy the link down below. You can post it on your social media. Feel free to do that. Feel free to share it when, in your, in your uh, embroidery clubs or anything like that. Don't just share the videos. I, I appreciate it. Um, if you guys are in clubs or if you guys are members or any type of thing, women's groups or men's groups or something like that, that want to learn how to do stuff, share the videos. I encourage you to do so because somebody somewhere might learn something, and that's the goal. And that's why I make these videos to help people, you know what I mean? People want to make money, people want to um, all uh, supplement their income. So, hey, if this sparks an idea and it can possibly impact someone's life, then that is awesome. See what I did there? I just let it stitch out the outer perimeter of that, and now it's just going to stitch out the text. So I'm going to let it stitch out some text, and once again, I'll be right back. Ada Productions. So you guys see it, the text is nice and legible. I mean, I'm not that much zoomed in, but you can see that the text is very, very legible. You don't see, and I'm using white bobbin thread for those of you guys who want to know, white bobbin thread. You don't see any white peeking through at all, which means my settings are correct. I have my tension right here where we agree we should set our tension at from now on when doing anything. So make sure you adjust your tension it's right between that one and that two mark on the machine and ever since then I've been stitching out like water. I don't know why I ever had on anything else guys. So that tip right there, if you don't get anything out of else out of this video, there's a tip right there to use that tension and your designs are just going to flip like 
I'm Batar from now on. Alright, so I'm going to let the stitch out and the next color we're going to change it to is red. And we'll be right back when it's time to change. Just let the stitch out and it's going to be, um, red is going to be the last, the last part of it. And then we'll take a look at the design. So this part of the design is just about done and we are going to change out our embroidery thread right about and now how's that for timing like this video if that was excellent timing guys look at this we're gonna need some more yellow thread this bobbin this uh spool is almost done but good thing I got a lot more embroidery thread on deck laying around guys because you know on this channel the embroideries don't stop baby every day all day so subscribe if you want to see more embroideries like thumbs up if you want to see more embroidery designs let me know what you guys would like to see next I am going to put it it's a girl design on but um I don't know what shape I'm gonna make it this is obviously the outline of a truck let me know what you think the outline of the It's a Girl design should be down in the comments below, and I will greatly appreciate it and consider your submission. All right, we all know little boys like trucks. What are little girls like? I don't want the outline to be like a Barbie or anything. That would be kind of whack, but, you know, we'll see. All right, we're starting the stitch out of the portion, the It's a Boy part, and this is the last part. Just let this all stitch out. We'll see exactly what cuts we have to make. I'll actually show you. It's going to be super, super simple, super, super easy. Not that many cuts to be made. And look at you guys. I know some of you guys that are into embroidery that actually have the P800. I mean, the P, the, the SE600 and the or the PE800 are drooling over this design right now because of how clean it looks and how crisp it looks. Alamayway.com, buy some channel merch. And I agree. I'm always going to appreciate it, guys. I'm always going to appreciate it. It goes without saying, because I tell you guys all the time, but I really, really mean it, man. One dollar at a time, you guys are changing my life. And I will continue, continue to bring you guys embroidery designs as long as you want. So let me know if you do want me to just continue making them, or else I can move along. I can move along and do something else, you know. Because the Silhouette Cameo 4 is sitting right there, and um, that's actually the most popular video on my channel, and I really should be making them. That's why I'm going to make one tomorrow. For those of you guys who like the Silhouette Cameo 4, I'm going to make a video on it tomorrow, so um, stay tuned for that. But yeah, the uh, embroidery designs, they don't stop, man. They don't stop, alright? So, give this video a thumbs up if you haven't given it a thumbs up already. Subscribe to the channel. If you're not subscribed still after all of this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you can be notified and stay in tune with everything that's going on. You know, follow me on Instagram at Instagram.com backslash ADUB Productions. Follow me on Facebook, Facebook.com backslash ADUB Productions, Facebook.com backslash King ADUB. I have two business pages on there. Follow both of them, please. And guys, visit the merch store, Alan A. Wade and Dot and Calm. One more thing, you guessed it. If you're buying this machine, if you're buying anything on Amazon, go to the description section. Can't even talk right. <laughs> go to the description section in this video and use my Amazon link to navigate to Amazon and purchase all of your products through my link and you can support the kid without even having to do anything or buy anything that you weren't going to buy already, man. You could go buy your Dove soap and, and help a brother out, you know? So right now it says, look, finished embroidery. Okay, finished embroidery. So let's take this bad boy out and see what it's looking like. We already know what it's going to look like. It looks butter. It looks good to me. Let's see. Yep. Just as I thought. Looks good. So let me show you the cuts that you're gonna make, guys. You're gonna cut this one right here, and when you cut that one right here, everything's gonna pull out right there. So you're gonna clip that right there, right? That's one cut, right? That's actually two cuts. It's gonna be two cut number two, right there. Boom. Then you're gonna cut this one right here, and when you cut that right there, this is gonna pull out right here. That pulls out, then you cut this one right here. So that's four cuts, right? 
And then you can cut this one right here. This one goes from here to there, and here to there. And there's one from here to there, and here to there. And that's it. Those are all the cuts you need to make. It looks so clean that and discreet, like these, these cuts right here. They're so clean and discreet. All right? So let me just get in here. Cut that right there. I can get a little closer in on this one. And I'm sorry, I'm all off camera and stuff because I'm looking at the thing. Cut this one right here and cut this one right here. And voila. Congratulations. It's a boy. Did you see the truck? It's so cute. Look at the back of it. It embroidered really nice. Look how clean that looks. And we have our Terry stabilizer. I'm just going to put some freight check around the edges, around the itches, let it dry, and then cut this bad boy out. And it's a hit, guys. AlanAway.com. Pick it up today. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me stitch out this here truck as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, visit the merch store, follow me on all my social medias, A-Dub Productions, and guys, I'll see you on the next one. Drop a comment down below, let me know how you think this thing came out, and I'll talk to you guys on the next video, guys. I'll talk to you later. Peace. Turn up that, crank it up, turn it down, turn it up, turn it down, turn it up, 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 turn